Hello, welcome to the first part of my September vlog. Um, I am determined to make this a much better vlog than my August one, um, in which there were too few updates and not enough detail. So, so far this month I've finished three books. One of them was a library book, one of them was an audio book, um, and one of them uh, was a library uh, graphic novel, <laughs> uh, which I read digitally. So. Um, none of my actual owned print books so far, however, as I mentioned in my planning video, um, I am trying to catch up with the Jazad Air by, by Sarah Hashem, um, which is uh, the, well it was the current read-along book for Aaliyah McCray, but it's not now. <laughs> uh, that, that ship has sailed, I have missed out on the read-along, but um, I am determined that I will read this and I will check in what people said about it as I get every couple of chapters um, and kind of have a belated read-along experience, because there's always people who are still finishing it off days after, weeks after uh, the read-along has officially finished. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, I finished 52 Ways um, to Walk, which I really, really enjoyed. It's designed as a book that you can kind of work through and pick a different kind of walking every um, every week for a year. Um, but I um, was not going to do that because a lot of these ways of walking are things I already do. Um, and some of the more interesting ones I didn't want to wait to read about. And also it's due back at the library at work and uh, I'm changing job. So I won't have access to that library anymore. So I've got to read it and I've got to read all the other library books um, as well. So that's a bit of a challenge. Um, but hey, I believe in me. <laughs> and I do have three days annual leave where I can like emergency use them to read all the books if I have to. But yeah, anyway, that's that's um that's by the by. It is absolutely boiling. I am sweating buckets whilst talking to you. That's why I'm wearing this loose white t-shirt thing again. Um I am going to put it in the wash though because it is pretty grim. Um today it's just been so incredibly hot. Um so no luxurious reading outside for me today. I went for a walk earlier and I finished listening to um the audiobook, which was um a rest is resistance a manifesto um which i um i really enjoyed it's very repetitive but i think that's kind of necessary to get its message across um it's all um about um people embracing rest as a kind of radical practice to change their lives and hopefully the world um and yeah it's it's I really, I really enjoyed it. I think it's one that I'll kind of keep to listen to bits of um, in the future. I do, I do own the audio book because I got it with an audio, audio, audible credit. I can talk, um, but yeah. So yeah, I actually listened to that while walking, which for me, I feel like is a form of rest because I always find myself sort of loosening, loosening up as I walk. It's like I mentally let go, and I, yeah, it's like a form of meditation. Um, especially if I'm not reading, <laughs> if I'm not listening to an audiobook at the time. Oh, this time I was, but it was its own form of meditation because of the repetition in the book and that was really lovely. Um, the uh, graphic novel that I read was um, Katie the Cat Sitter, the first book in this series, which I love so much. It's about a, it's about a girl who, to save for um, a spot at summer camp, um, starts cat sitting for a neighbour and um, the neighbour has 217 cats and may or may not be a super villain um, <laughs> and it was just so much fun I really hope I get the second one soon um, I enjoyed it massively um, it was brilliant um, but yeah uh, yeah I'm, um, I'm really quite overwhelmed with the number of books that I have to read this month um, as mentioned in my in my planning video and I'm also overwhelmed by how hot it is so I think the best thing for me to do is to get started and see if I can get a few chunks through um, the Jazz Lad Air because I think it would be really nice I like flew through the first section I remember thinking I was really tired at the time um, and I was like oh I'm not sure I'm up for this like am I gonna be a, is it gonna be a drag um, but it went by like that before I knew it I was at the end of chapter four I'd finished the first part of the read along so yeah I'm really excited to pick it up and, and continue reading um, so yeah keep watching to find out how I get on with it hello welcome back to another evening in the land of a vlog um, once again I have done a mixture of behaviour um, <laughs> so so um, it is Monday at the weekend I I knew I wasn't gonna get much reading reading done because I was getting to read a novel that I drafted 
in 2021 for the first time since I finished drafting it and I was really excited and I wanted to really focus on that. I've been looking forward to this for absolutely ages and I was finally getting to do it. Um, and the good news is I really like the, the book and I'm really happy. Um, the, uh, yeah, the bad, the bad news is that I did not find any sneaky time to read. Um, not any print books anyway. So, uh, last night as a treat, um, well, I think I read one over breakfast actually. I think I read the, so I read The Prince of the Dressmaker, um, which is a graphic novel, um, uh, electronically over breakfast if I remember correctly and then I read um, Witch Hat Atelier volume 4 um, in the evening right before bed as a treat um, because I just really wanted to. <laughs> um, so yeah that was it, that was it. Um, I did have some vague fantasies of going to the park yesterday and reading for a bit but I didn't get to do that because it was meant to thunder um, and then it did not thunder, there was no thunder just didn't happen um and i was a bit annoyed because i would have gone to the park but um yeah i didn't do that so i didn't read but i did finish my book um and i'm happy with it so that's the main thing um and then today i was like right we're back on the horse we've got to clear these library books um so that i can get on with my life um really i've got to clear the library books that's it uh -huh. <laughs> massive priority here clearing the library books um so i uh took why women grow to work with me today and i read a bit at lunchtime and a bit um on the way on the train home and i am now at page 190 and there are 286 pages in the book so i've got less than 100 pages left and my plan for this evening is to finish it number one priority for this evening i'm not going to put my computer on nothing i'm just going to finish this and then when i've done that i want to very quickly read this which yes i did pick up another library book i did pick up another library book and do you know why it's because i could get this on ebook from the public library but um then i wouldn't be able to take a pretty picture of it if i like it so um i want to do that <laughs> basically i want to do that i actually also want to take a picture of um why it wouldn't grow in front of my garden so although my plan vaguely was to finish reading this and take it back to the library tomorrow i don't think i'm going to do that also because i think um i will take some other books with me tomorrow that are relevant to work um to read because i don't have very much work to do at the moment i'm coming to the end of a job um and just really really struggling to fill the time um so stuff that's regularly relevant this research i think uh, i can read while i'm in the library um waiting to see if any students want to talk to me <laughs> um so yeah uh that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take some of the relevant books um with me and try and read those and return those then and there if not they'll come back with me and i'll have to finish them at home um but yeah i will save these to take back next week i think is the most sensible thing to do next week potentially i'm gonna have a lot of books to take back but that's life. <laughs> um, I have next week and I have the week after, so I think I'm just going to have to prioritise that, you know, making sure that I take back half of the books that I need to take back each time. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Is there any more that I can take photographs of and then take back? No, no, we're going to focus on reading this evening. We're going to focus on reading. We're not going to do that strategy with photographs. That's not going to happen. It's not going to be a thing. Okay, right. Yes, yeah, so that's my plan. My dinner is on right now. I put it on as soon as I got home. Um, so it is, it is cooking. I'm just going to have some pasta so that it doesn't take too long and I can get on with reading these two books. Um, Recovery is not very long at all. Um, it's published... Um, by the Welcome Collection and I actually saw this in the Welcome Collection. I really wanted to buy it but didn't and I'm glad um, that I didn't because um, now I can read it for free. Um, and this is only 118 pages long excluding like sources at the back and you know like the post amble where they like are like about the author and about this series of books um, which like tiny paragraphs don't count. Um, so yeah that's my plan. Read both of these this evening. Read, 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 read. Up a storm. Get them done. Sorted. That's two books off the list. One of which wasn't on the list um, this morning, but it kind of was. In the back of my head, I was thinking I might pick it up because I did see it there last time. Um, yeah. 
they'll be off the list, I'll be able to move on to my glorious future, having read all of my books. Yes. Hello, it's the next day. It is Tuesday the 12th of September. I have good news and bad news once again. <laughs> so the good news is I finished Making Is Connecting at the library I was at today and I returned it. So that's one tick off my list and that was quite a long one because it was an academic book, although probably the most engaging and easy to read academic book I've ever read and I would actually recommend it to anyone with a kind of casual interest in um, creativity and connection and how creativity can help us um, connect with other people, especially on the internet. And I will link the author's YouTube channel in the description because you should check it out um, to get, get a taste of what this book is is like. So the down the downside of being in a library um, is once again that I got books. Um, and I didn't think I would get books in this library. I didn't think I would. I thought I was going to be good. <laughs> uh, but then they had a comic, uh, they had a comic display, they had a, a display for um, National Comics Day. And um, so I took a picture and I sent it to my partner and I was like, is there anything here you fancy reading? Um, is there anything I should check out? Um, and he said yes there was something and then I had a look as well at lunchtime and I picked up um, Wappable Oath. Um, obviously it has cats on the cover, I was like what is going on here? <laughs> I need to check this out um, and I read about half of it in my lunch break, maybe a little bit under half. Um, it's really, really long, so it's it's like a graphic novel, but then it's like got a whole massive amount of short stories at the end, um, and oh, it looks like character profiles. Um, so this is actually huge. This is um, two hundred and sixty-three pages long. There we go. Um, so yeah, I started reading it at lunch, and I'm just hooked. It's about a big hairy gay man. <laughs> who um, finds that cats are attracted to his smell. Um, he describes himself as a kitty philanthropist um, and he uh, develops this crush on this guy he sees and is determined to date him. Um, I feel like that's the best way I can describe the plot but it's 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 very strange and very surreal. Um, there's some kind of like horror-esque elements to this like I think my partner's gonna really like this because it's got some bits that are disgusting and it's got <laughs> It's that are kind of horrific um, and it's kind of funny and cute at the same time it's, it's it's a whole lot of things and I've discovered through reading random comic comics that I really like when things are cute and horrific at the same time in comics <laughs> uh, one of the favorite things I've ever randomly read was a really cute horror comic um, so yeah I do, inv I do enjoy this thing. I think it's just that I really like cute things. Um, a lot of my favourite graphic novels that I've read so far have just been like out and out adorable. They've been like for kids or teens and they've just been very cute and cosy. Um, and so I kind of love it when I read something that's actually like um, kind of twists that cuteness a, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and either the art style is cute but it's actually just horrific or it combines the two it's cute but there's a little bit of, of those kind of elements so yeah yeah I'm really enjoying this so far but I'm planning on finishing it tonight I've only got this much left um, so not a huge amount to get through although I need I have been sitting here reading it and I'm going to stop I can go have a shower because I need to have a shower because I've got to go into work again tomorrow they're not to a library so this won't happen um, there literally isn't a, a library on the site I'm visiting um, they're building a library there but there isn't one now um, and the other one I picked up because it's the one my partner suggested um, is my favourite thing is monsters um, which is apparently book one volume one it says uh, this is also very long uh, I don't know how many pages it is. No, these are just sketches about. Don't want to see spoilers, so I'm not going to look very, very much anymore. Um, but the art it looks absolutely incredible. It's all sort of like looks like it's done with ballpoint pen. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to try this one as well. And then on the way home, I actually did start the, the the little book I got yesterday, Recovery, which so far I am really enjoying. I'm on page 24, and as I think I said then, there are only um. 118 pages excluding notes um and then it's like acknowledgements and stuff and the, the chapters are quite short as well i've discovered since i began this so yeah i'm not expecting this one to be a difficult one i will probably take this with me tomorrow to read as i'm 
out and about, uh, probably on the way home from work, maybe at lunchtime. Uh, oh, I might need to take something else though, because like it's not very long. Maybe I should take something else. Hmm. Yeah, I might take something else as well. Because um, if I finish this, I will obviously have to cart it home. Um, but cart it, it's tiny, what am I saying? You can into carts, I think this is small. Um, I will have to take it home again because there won't be a library to drop it off at. But I can, um, I can sell something else um, if I do finish this. So yeah, yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a think. Um, there was a book I was at that's another book that's relevant to my job, which I was thinking about taking um, tomorrow. So maybe I'll just take that. Um, and then if I have to do a bit of work reading in my own time, then so be it. <laughs> this is what I get for going to the library and getting so many books out. Anyway, I have a smoothie to drink. I have a shower to have. I'm going to get on with those things. See you tomorrow. Hello. It is Wednesday, the 13th of September. And I'm lounging on the sofa with my good friend, the purple poo emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Purple Poo are here to tell you that I think I'm done with reading for the day and I didn't do all that much. I read um, a bit more of recovery on my um, way home from work and a little tiny bit on my lunch break and that was it really. Um, I think I am somewhere around 50 pages through so I think I'm halfway through and I've only got half left to go because it's only about 100 pages long um and yeah I'm really really it's enjoying the right word I'm enjoying it but also I want to send it to everybody who lives in a western country um where they don't take recovery from illness and recovery as a way of life if you have a chronic illness seriously um yeah because i feel like <laughs> this book has such an important message and covers so many different aspects of it um it's really interesting but also it's like we need to sort this out we humans are not treating our bodies and taking our health seriously enough um and this culture we have of just driving ourselves and each other to always be prioritizing work is bad <laughs> um and if we understand this about the way that we do things then i think we'd also better understand what we are imposing on other countries um where they don't even have what we have and yeah Anyway, anyway, great little book, great little book, want to give a copy to everybody. Um, that's going straight to my top of, you know that question they sometimes ask like people when they're being interviewed. Um, if you could buy a book for everyone in the country or everyone in the world, what would it be? I would probably choose this one now, I think. Um, yeah, because I think they might actually read it because it's so short. <laughs> and it's so relevant to everyone's lives. I mean, there are so many books I could, you know, put in you know, I could say, but I don't know if people would read them, but I think this is a good candidate. So anyway, I read that, um, and it is already, um, coming up for, um, half ten at night, obviously, um, and I am so tired, so I don't know that I'm going to read anything else. I might try listening to an audiobook while I get ready for bed. I kind of think it's not going to happen though, and I'm going to just watch YouTube. Um, also today I finished watching the videos on uh, a playlist I put together for all of other people's TBR Zero um, videos. I'll pop a link in the description. So I've put my own um, videos so far on there. Um, I made it a few days ago. I just basically searched TBR Zero and some of the videos I had watched before because when I was kind of planning this project I watched some of them. Um, but I decided to make a playlist, put those on it, and then add all the other ones that I could find. I finished watching all the videos on that playlist, which was actually really great because I found some new people to follow, and some of them don't have that, that big of a, a following, they don't have that many subscribers, so that's really nice that I could, I could follow them and feel like I'm supported enough, supporting another small channel. Um, in fact, I think most of them, the small ones that are on there, are, are bigger than me. <laughs> uh, 
but you know you know I'm not I'm not worried about how many subscribers I have I'm more you know I'd like to know if you're out there watching this um yeah but other than that um yeah this is just an experiment I'm doing um so yeah I'm gonna go now and maybe listen to an audio book while sorting my face but I maybe not I'm hoping that if I go to bed at a reasonable time today um then um tomorrow I can get up early and before work sort some laundry whilst listening to an audio book probably um dancing in the streets a history of collective joy because I don't actually have that much longer of that one to go um and then when I go for a walk I can listen to more of Living a Feminist Life um by Sarah Ahmed which I um started listening to last week and I um uh, I think I managed listening to about um an hour and sped up of course it's like a seven and a bit hours um, of audiobook so I was like if I listen to this whilst walking every day for a week that'd be great except for the problem is I have to work out of the house for three days in a row next week so that's gonna go and hold for a little while uh but yeah hopefully I can pick that up again tomorrow hello it's a few days later um I didn't do any reading on uh Friday um or Saturday like not book reading reading um because I uh I had a couple of audiobooks that I wanted to finish slash start so um on uh Friday was it Thursday I can't remember I remembered uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna laugh because I don't even need to go to work to get out for library books because I remember that they have a catalogue on Libby and um, there were some things on there I had noticed were pretty popular books and um, that maybe I should check out before I lose access to it. And so I ended up actually making a list. Um, on Friday I went through um, all the books that they had there that were on my wish list and I made a separate list of just the ones where either they don't have them at the public libraries I'm a member of or they um, do but there's a huge queue. So I could strategically plan my time rather than attempting to get through like a hundred books <laughs> in the remaining two weeks of me having access to it. So I have access to that for a little bit longer than I do the print books because I can, you know, still use the library even when I'm on annual leave at the end of end of my contract. So um I first of all listened to um Remote Control by Neddy Okorafor, which was a brilliant um I it's a novella and I was not expecting to be so like immediately swept into it but seriously I swear within seconds I was hooked on this story um it's a, about a girl um who both as a kid and as a teenager um has this strange ability to kill people to kind of drain people with this light within her that she's acquired through the for a seed I think it's like part of it's part of a series um, from what I understand on Goodreads so not like not a lot is explained but it's really compulsively readable um, nonetheless um, and then I started listening to um, I'm glad my mum died by Jeanette McCurdy so um, when it was first announced there was a lot of hype around it and so I put it on my wish list and when I saw I could get it from the work library as an audiobook, I went on the public libraries to compare and well one of them has a um, a queue of 70 and the other one has a queue of over 400 and on the work Libby I could just I could just click borrow <laughs> So I was like, yeah, you know what? Okay, yeah, this is a this is a very good one to prioritise. And I'm nearly at the end. It's actually um, been really easy to fit in listening to it over the past couple of days. Um, what just like while making breakfast, eating breakfast, getting ready to go out, that kind of thing. Like I started listening to it yesterday while making breakfast. I ate breakfast. I listened to it whilst. Um, getting uh to putting my makeup on i listened to it after getting home and taking my makeup off um because i went out with my partner in the afternoon 
And then today, again, I listen to it whilst making my breakfast, I listen to it whilst eating my breakfast, and I listen to it whilst walking to and from um, the gym to the swimming. Uh, that's why well, my hair is weird, by the way. I've just washed it, so it's still quite wet. Um, and yeah, I... Um, I am almost at the end. I have less than 50 minutes <laughs> remaining <laughs> and I'm listening to it on nearly double speed. So yeah, I will finish that I think today, probably while making my dinner, um, to be honest, um, or clearing up after dinner. I might do some laundry later because I have all of my stuff from swimming to wash. So um, that's another thing I might do, uh, sort that out while um, listening to that. Um, but now it is uh, just gone five o'clock and the whole rest of the day and evening, however you want to categorise time, all I plan to do is read. Read, 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 read. <laughs> um, apart from I might watch the final episode or the rest of the final episode. No, I don't think I started it. I think the final episode of Queen Charlotte whilst eating my dinner. Um, but other than that, I plan to read. And so I'm going to start by finishing Recovery um, because I have about half of it left. Um, and then I'm going to get started on playing for time, which is this absolutely gigantic <laughs> hardback book. But it's an art book. It's about different forms of um, different art pieces and art projects and stuff. Um, so what I have decided is that I will aim to finish it by next Monday. And I have divided up. It's um, 400 and... Was it 430? It's more or less like 140, although I've realised there is a contributor section after the notes, which I might want to read, yeah. So yeah, it's like 430 pages, and I divided that up, and so I have to read about 60 pages a day, um, every day, to finish it by next Monday. I feel like that is achievable. I think that can be done. So then, um, after I finish recovery, I plan to read today's 60 pages. <laughs> if I'm really into it, I want to read more, I'll read more, but um, I, will try and just, I will try and do 60 pages. And then I think um, if I can do that before having dinner, because um, I probably have a couple of hours before I have dinner, I feel like it's achievable. Um, and then after dinner I want to read My Favourite Thing is Monsters, which is one of the giant works of comic art that I borrowed from the library this week. So um, yeah, so then hopefully I can um, take that back on Monday. Uh, I... I feel like this is an achievable plan. Um, especially if I divide it up into pre-dinner and post-dinner, um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I am now going to make myself hot chocolate. So in the name of clearing out the chocolate cupboard, I'm going to have some and I'm going to kind of Frankenstein it because I've got some, um, some bits and pieces of hot chocolate um, left over. Okay, it's taste this time. Oh. You know what? I should have been doing this all along. I should have been doing one and a half of mince pie, one and a half of milky, and three of the three of the dark sipping chocolate because, yeah, this is really nice. It's got enough of that like mince pie flavouring to be really tasty, um, and to have like um, something different than just plain hot chocolate, but um, much much stronger. Um, so yeah, maybe I should have been doing this all along. In fact, this is making me tempted to get mince pie a chocolate again, uh, so that I can do this again. <laughs> I've done it! <laughs> I've finished recovery. Um, there we go. Another one bites the dust. Another one I can take back tomorrow, which brings me up to like five books I'm taking back tomorrow. So that's good for the old house clear out. <laughs> uh, physical book reduction, getting all these library books out of the house. Um, yeah, it was basically as good as it, as it promised to be when I started reading it. Um, it kind of summarises different ideas about recovery and convalescence and uh, chronic illness, illness and health, uh, people's responses to illness. It's a great little book and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to know more about this subject, which should be everybody to be quite honest. <laughs> um, and yeah, I drank my hot chocolate. That was great. Um, it's now half six. So even though I haven't started playing for time yet, I am considering putting my dinner on and then, um, yeah, while uh, my dinner is happening, I can listen to um, some more of I'm Glad My Mum Died. And then after dinner, I will try and tackle um, 
60 pages of playing the time um and then hopefully still have time for a bit of my favorite thing is monsters because yeah i feel like i should attempt to get started on that one all right hello well my hair's basically dry <laughs> That's something. I finished um, I'm Glad My Mum Died. It was a really powerful memoir. Uh, strong content warnings if you're thinking about reading it because there's a lot about eating disorders as well as uh, parental abuse. Um, but yeah, it was really... It was really interesting. I didn't know much about the writer beforehand. I hadn't seen any of the Nickelodeon TV shows. <laughs> Um, that she's famous for because wrong, wrong generation, I think really. I don't think that, um, wrong generation or like just me not having Sky. <laughs> uh, like if you're not from the UK, um, Sky is like the big satellite TV company. And, uh, when I was a kid, that was really the only way to get like a huge variety of channels including all of the ones of all of the American shows um and when I was a kid we just had the um the terrestrial tv channels which at first was just four and then became five and then uh with the launch of digital tv a lot more um but yeah I didn't have any of those any of those kind of um channels that you had to pay money for on an ongoing basis um so yeah uh i i wouldn't have even seen the predecessors <laughs> of those shows so i had no idea who the author was but it was still really really interesting um hearing about how successful she got to be when she wasn't even pursuing her dream she was pursuing someone else's dream her mum's dream um and yeah and that was really sad that she was forced to put her energy into something that she didn't love. Um, yeah, on top of all the abuse. Um, and in the end, you know, she decides to quit her um, faltering country music career, uh, first of all. And then she decides to quit acting and uh, instead get an agent for writing. And I'm really interested to see what other writing she ends up doing in her life because... Um, yeah i think she, i think i think it was good <laughs> um so yeah there uh yeah i finished that whilst um i was making my dinner and uh getting lots of lettuce ready for the week um and uh unfortunately well I enjoyed it, but unfortunately, the last episode of Queen Charlotte was like an hour and a half long. So unfortunately, I have only read 14 pages of Playing for Time. Um, I still think that's a good start. Uh, hopefully I can pick up the pace sooner. I might read some more tonight, but it depends. I'm going to go uh, wash my face and get ready for bed now. Um, because it is... Uh, 10.30 and I originally planned to get ready at 10 but because I had read so little of this I was like no I'm gonna leave it till 10.30 and what didn't help as well is that I got a bunch of messages from friends <laughs> so I was spending my time having long conversations with people um through whatsapp and um stuff um rather than reading this hello it is Monday the 18th I'm very bad at keeping track of what date it is <laughs> <laughs> I will often like write it in my morning pages at the top like I always write it at the top of my morning pages and then when I'm saving them I save them with the date in the file name and I then have to check again on the calendar once I've like opened up the dialogue box to save <sighs> but anyway anyway I think it's I think it's the 18th it's definitely Monday um and I uh not long ago got home for kind of the second time because I got home and then I wanted to go for a walk so I put my trainers on and went out for a walk because my feet were kind of hurting um in the shoes I've gone to work um but they're not painful shoes it's just that I've been wearing them all day <laughs> um and I'm home and I'm cozy in my fleece because it is um it is quite chilly um the heating won't come on at my house probably for like another month um that setting we have it at because my house uh is a relatively new building um and so it is actually fairly warm not as warm as the flat that i used to live in which was a new build uh 
not RAP, but I miss you, underfloor heating. I had underfloor heating, which all buildings should have, as far as I'm concerned, it is um, the only correct form of heating. Um, central heating, rubbish. Underfloor heating, the one. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Uh, so today I started listening to, um, in a bid to um, get on with the library audiobooks um, that I wanted to borrow from work, um, an Emily Henry. Uh, and I have not read an Emily Henry before, but I follow quite a few people on Instagram who love Emily Henry's books. And so I was very excited to give one a go. And um, they don't have them all, they only have two. <laughs> Uh, so I decided to go in the chronological order of those two, although it would be my preference to start with the first one. And that's what I did when I did a big Sally Rooney um, fest earlier in the year. So anyway, I started listening to You and Me on vacation. Um, I am really enjoying it so far. I feel like it's a really good book for me to be listening to right now because I'm thinking about the novel that I just finished copy editing and there was something off about it. Like, I felt like I had finished it, but I hadn't finished it, you know? Like, I felt like there was something missing. There was something I needed to go back and edit. And I think I need to work on um, expressing the characterization of the characters. So when I first started writing, I used to be really into character development, and that was all I focused on. I could not plot to set to save my life. I just could not plot. I was absolutely terrible at plotting. I started so many novels which could peter out after a few chapters because I hadn't bothered to think about the plot. And so now when I get an idea, the very first thing I think about is the plot. You know, I might have vague ideas for characters but I will absolutely focus on the plot because if I, I'm just so scared of not having a plot and, and going really far in with a project I don't have a plot for. So now it is, the, it is the, my sole focus and I feel like I have cracked plot. Um, I'm getting towards cracking plot, um, fingers crossed, um, but because I've been so focused on plot, I feel like possibly my characterization, how I express it, has been lacking. And this only applies to this one book, which was really like the first novel um, that I'd written like in full, which I was reasonably happy with when I finished drafting it. Um, and I really had to like play around the plot and move things around once I'd done the draft. Um, and the two that I wrote, that I drafted after that, because I went on a big, if, you, if you're not familiar with me, <laughs> uh, during, pan the, during like the, the high point, or the, the low point of the pandemic, where we had lockdowns in the UK, my coping mechanism was writing and I drafted um, like three novels within a couple of years. Um, but obviously I wanted to you know take them seriously and edit them properly so I've just been focusing on one um and I read last weekend not last weekend the weekend before because last weekend was yesterday and the day before that uh the weekend before I read the second one for the first time and it is so much stronger um on the characterization front than this first one and I know that the third one is also really strong on the characterization because I can just remember how vivid all every single one of the characters is in my head um so I think that's what I need to go back and fix but anyway Emily Henry um the characterization is on point the description it's on point um and so I think it's going to be really helpful for me to go on Emily Henry binge um and just listen to all of uh, all all the books all of the books um, but yeah, I'm starting with you and me on vacation. I'm only one hour and 56 minutes and 12 seconds in. Eight hours, 49, 48 to go. Um, but I'm listening at 1.75 so far. Um, I may I may be able to speed up. In fact, I think I might have to speed up because I found myself getting a little bit distracted at points today. I think that's because I'm really tired. I didn't sleep great last night because there was a massive thunderstorm. Um, but yeah, it... Um, and I, it was just too exciting <laughs> to be honest at the end I did have to give up and put on an eye mask and just like force myself to ignore it um but first it was a bit too exciting um but yeah anyway um so yeah I think I am going to enjoy that a lot I'm very excited to finally be listening to some and um, possibly reading later on some Emily Henry um 
uh, this evening, I'm not going to be listening to more Emily Henry. Um, maybe a little bit while I, while I take my makeup off and stuff. Um, but I am going to be getting on with um, playing for time. Um, I, uh, as I say, I did split it. I did decide I need to read like 60 pages a day in order to finish it by the, by the end of next Sunday. Um, and I did not read 60 pages last night I read like 10 <laughs> so I've got quite a bit to catch up on um however because I didn't get to take um the graphic novel I was going to read to the library today that's okay that can wait till next week so if I do read a good chunk of pages let's say like 90 or so um get like get up to 90 um of uh playing for time um today then I'm gonna go back to the Illuminate book that I started reading during the read-along and did not finish um, doing the read along because I went away. <laughs> because I really miss I really miss reading that book. I was really enjoying it, and so I feel like I should just like go with that and make the most of that feeling. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have some berry tea from Tea Picks, and yeah, get on with reading. <laughs> Hello, it's Tuesday, and it is time for me to get ready for bed. And I have bad news to report. I have not read very much today. I listened to a little bit of um, you and me on vacation um, whilst making breakfast and I went for a walk and I listened to a bit more of um, Living a Feminist Life because I tried to open up you and me on vacation um, on the phone that I take for walks. I, audiobook phone, it's an old phone with no sim card um, that I take for walks so I can't be distracted. Um, all I can do with it is take pictures and listen to audiobooks, it's perfect. Um, but yeah, uh, I could not get that to load Libby fast enough. Um, I should have turned it on in advance really of the walk, but I did not. Um, so yeah, I was forced to open up the Audible app and listen to and listen to living a feminist life which was you know fine <laughs> i am still enjoying listening to that whilst walking um but yeah uh then we had dinner and now um i'm allegedly getting ready for bed but actually i've just spent a while looking at my phone uh looking at social media randomly googling things that sprang to mind and not reading um so yeah bit disappointed with that but hey I'm gonna get ready for bed now and if there's time once I'm ready for bed I might read then but I don't think it's going to happen it is so cold and I think that's why I've been so distracted the weather has really taken a turn um yeah it's really cold <laughs> um I always feel like before it's cold enough for the heating to kick in I always feel colder because there's no like source of warmth <laughs> Um, kind of exterior to my own body and eating food. Um, I have been drinking a lot of tea. I have had like six cups of tea today. Uh, some more of the berry tea that I had yesterday and a whole crumble tea which has been very nice and warming. Um, but I miss the sun already. <laughs> I just hate being cold. I hate having to put on layers. I hate uh, all the logistics involved in making sure I'm warm enough all the time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's that's it. So yeah, hopefully a better bit of reading tomorrow. I am going to a friend's in the evening, but maybe I'll get some reading done before work. Never know. <laughs> Friday the 22nd of September. <sighs> I am still only on page 62 of Playing for Time, but it is ten past eight in the morning. I have... Um, <laughs> made myself a cup of T2 Southern Sunrise in my Giddy in the Ninth mug. <laughs> um, I've got a glass of water, I've taken my medication and I am here to read this. Ooh, let's jump back, <laughs> quite a junk. I'm determined to get through some pages of this before I start work today because otherwise I'm never going to finish this. I have three other non-fiction books to finish. To be fair, I am part way through rest um as well i have been reading that um but yeah it's just been a not great couple of days for reading um 
Wednesday I um, I woke up early before work but I was feeling a bit dozy and I had check please borrowed from the library um, which is a really cute um, graphic novel um, it was originally a webcomic I think and um, I read that um, I read that before work uh, whilst enjoying my cup of tea in bed uh, <laughs> much like I am trying to do today um, and then yeah and then not uh, on and then in the evening I was I was going to see a friend so I did not do any reading um, and then yesterday was just a complete washout I didn't even listen to an audiobook um, yeah it, I just had a lot <laughs> I had like after work I had to uh well I start finished work late because I was running a meeting after five PM. Um I mean it was worth it because some students did come. Um <laughs> but it meant I start finished work really late, then I made dinner, um and then after dinner I wanted to get ready for bed. Um whilst dinner was cooking, I had an email I needed to reply for about my new job. Reply to about my new job even. Um so yeah, no reading got done. But I am determined. But I'm determined. I'm going to get something now. I'm going to get it done if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Hello again. It's the opposite end of the day. It is now 11pm. I'm back in bed with Playing for Time. Um, I'm on uh, page 99. Yep, page 99. Um, I am really enjoying it, but it is a whopper, <laughs> this book. Um, it is, however, going to be basically my main goal tomorrow to finish this. Let's um, hopefully finish it. <laughs> That's basically what I plan to do. I plan to get up, at, well, stay in bed, wake up, <laughs> read some before breakfast, read some during breakfast, um, listen to some more um, Emily Henry while I'm making breakfast, of course. Um, I um, am quite far through that now. Um, yeah, read some more of it after breakfast, read some more after lunch, um, and yeah, just generally try really hard to get to the end of it. Um, that's, that's my plan. Um, I've really got to tackle it because it is the big one. And I think I should probably also be able to finish to Emily Henry tomorrow, maybe, because, um, I can listen to it while I'm making breakfast. I can listen to it while I'm getting dressed and doing my makeup and stuff. Um, so yeah, that should, I, I sh if I don't finish it tomorrow, I should easily finish it on Sunday. Um, I listen to it whilst going to the gym today. Um, I'll probably go to the gym on Sunday as well. Um, I listen to some then. Um, that'd be really good. Um, so yeah, I'm getting through that. I, uh, only have, I think about three hours real time left to go. So that's really great. Um, however, I have so many print books left, and I now only have two full days to read them, that I've had to vote one off the island. So I thought what I would do is see if any of them are available at the public library. Um, and I discovered the rest is on the library ebook catalogue. Um, so I think I'm going to deprioritize this one. I'm not going to pick it up once I finish. <laughs> Assuming I do finish playing for time. I'm going to concentrate on the other two. The other... I keep thinking this too, but this free <laughs> because it's a graphic novel, which is downstairs. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm probably going to, after I finish playing for time, read the graphic novel because it's so big and chunky and would be expensive um, to get hold of otherwise. Um, and then I have the other two, but this one is on the ebook catalogue of the public library, so I don't need to prioritise it. Um, if a miracle happens and I read all of the others and I'm doing amazing then I might try and read some more of it before I give it back but otherwise no it's not happening I'll put a hold on the ebook and when I get that I'll finish it um so yeah just just trying to be practical and not freak out about how much I've got left to read before the end of the weekend um once all these print books are taken back to the library I will still have access to the work ebook catalog um, and there are some books on there which I hope to basically um, borrow before I can't borrow them. So um, I should be able to borrow them for like seven days um, and put them on my e-reader 
which gives me more time to read them. Um, so then I'll have a whole week to read them on my e-reader, and that'll be fine because I have um, two and a half weeks off before I start my new job. So I can have a full, <laughs> I will have like actually seven days, um, <laughs> seven whole days to read them. Um, so yeah, see how many I can get through before that happens. Um, yeah, as I, say, I already prioritised that list, so it shouldn't be a problem. Right, I'm going to read a little bit of this now um, and speak to you probably tomorrow. It's Saturday the 23rd. I'm back in bed with playing for time. Uh, this time round, I've made myself um, some more Southern Sunrise tea because I'm really feeling it at the moment. In my um, Luma Crate, the Cruel Prince mug, um, which is one of my favourite mugs ever. And the sun is out. Yeah, <laughs> I think you can see a little bit of blue up there. Um, and yeah, I am basically going to read this until 10am, it's just after 9. I am going out later and I've got a call with my friend Jim um, at 1 o'clock, have lunch at 2. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to see, like, try and make as much time to read today as possible. I do have tomorrow. Um, and this book I've decided is my number one priority because <laughs> it is like... Oh, it doesn't have a price on the back, but it is like £25 to buy this. Um, yeah, I don't know why, I still might. I still might. <laughs> because it is fantastic. Um, it's just full of really amazing inspiration for making things and thinking about how the world is changing and how um, art can show us a better way. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, uh, so yeah, I might, I might buy a copy, but I'm not going to buy a copy now. I like it, There are so many library books um that I've read, um, where I might buy myself a copy eventually, but I'm not going to do it now, because the whole point is to get my shelves down. And then once my shelves are down, I can think about what books I would like to invest in, <laughs> as copies to keep forever, but that's not now. Um, anyway, I'm going to get on with it. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> it's Sunday now, I'm on the sofa. Um, I have been reading for a while today, I, um, I basically started as soon as I wrote woke up, read for a bit, uh, got up and made breakfast, was listening to Emily Henry. I'm so close to the end of that book now. Um, I uh, am now on the sofa um, because I, I've decided I'm camping out on the sofa today. Uh, my partner Nick is currently at the gym um, and when he comes back we'll have lunch. And then he's going to go out again to do some writings in um, in the local cafe or pub. So I have the sofa, uh, I have the living room to myself, um, and the kettle's downstairs. <laughs> and it's cold, so I think I am going to spend a day drinking a lot of tea. So I am currently on 222, that's where I've got to today. Um, I think I was prob I've probably read about... Um, let's see, like 40 pages so far today? Um, but I'm determined to get to um, page 242, <laughs> that's where I, I worked out I wanted to get to, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break from playing for time because I really love it, so if I don't finish it, I probably will just have to buy a copy, I'll just try and get to like the end of a section, note where I got to, and then buy a copy to finish it. Um, like it is really i am really enjoying it it's basic descriptions of loads of um i guess kind of activists and reimagining the world art projects and it's just it's just fabulous i am really enjoying it but this i also wanted to read now i don't know that i'll read this cover to cover because it is about um like uh i guess it's the same kind of I idea um, it's, I think it's more of a practical book and I feel like this may end up being one I just sort of flick through so that I can kind of put it on my future reference list if I ever need this kind of information. Um, so yeah, and then um, yeah, once I've dealt with that I may go back to this and try and try and get it done but we'll see. Um, I think with the other two um, I'll see how I feel. I may read the graphic, no, I may not. So here's my vibe. <laughs> Ignore my laundry. 
Um, I don't think you can see any of my pants. I think it's all towels and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've I found this random autumn instrumentals playlist on Spotify, which I'm going to give a go. Um, I don't know that it's going to rain today, but it does look very very cloudy out there. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't have a cup of tea on the go at the moment. I have a smoothie on the go: banana, strawberry, and oat milk. Um, so once I finish that, I will drink some water, I think, and then, uh, yeah, I think I'll have tea after lunch, and then I'll go for, like, uh, fruit tea or mint tea, depending on how I feel. Uh, maybe mix it up. I imagine that today it's going to be a day in which I drink absolutely gallons of the stuff. <laughs> uh, originally when I planned this week, I planned to go to the gym this afternoon, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, because it would just take loads of time up. Uh, what I might do is, um, if I feel like it, if I'm making good progress on the books, um, work out um, here in the living room. But yeah, gotta get these books done. Right, I'm gonna get on with it. Speak to you later. Good news. As I hoped, <laughs> this is such a like practical workbook type book um when i got it from the library i didn't have time to like fruit for it and i you know it's a library so i'm like i can i can look for it at my leisure at home and have a proper considered you know thought about whether this is a cover to cover book to read a book to read cover to cover even um and yeah no it's it's so like practical it's got like an introduction which kind of says stuff i already know and then it moves on to like basically like worksheet type things like they're actually like yeah like um like things to work through um which yeah like i am not doing <laughs> creative community building work uh in this way like right now like this is very much like how to do stuff in your local community um so i am going to remember that this book exists <laughs> uh put it on my like um kind of like future reference list and move on uh, which now means that I get to switch to reading the graphic novel. Here we go. Let's give this a go and see if I get into it. It's going to be a bit of a tone switch going from <laughs> non-fiction to fiction um, in this way, but it's graphic, so hopefully I can get into it and it is as absolutely astonishing as this quite says. Woohoo! I have done exactly what I hoped to do. I started reading this just before lunch and um, it is now just after four? 12 minutes past four, there we go. Um, it's not just after four, is it? It's in my head with my no sense of time. <laughs> but I, I realised it's not in reality. Is it just after four would be like two past four. 12 past four is 12 past four. Anyway, I have finished this. Um, I thought it would take me actually longer than it did. I was really surprised when I was getting towards the end and I realised it was just before four. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that um, because it now means... <laughs> That's one book actually read, actually finished. Woo. Um, and I can now have a go at Make Your Art No Matter What, um, which I'm very excited to try. I feel like this might be more of like a reference type book to have on hand. Um, in which case, uh, if it is going like that, it will be one that I pop on my list of books to acquire. Um, and then I can get back to playing for time, which I've got sitting here. <laughs> I did. I went exactly to where I said I would. I would read until I until I would stop. So yeah, this is not that long. Um, it is where are we? Like two hundred and seven pages long, which isn't bad. Um, so if I was to read this cover to cover, I can probably manage it in the rest of the day. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what's happening next. Let's find out. Hello. It is now ten p.m. I'm pleased to say I read this entire book. <laughs> uh, it is only like 200 pages long, so it was quick. And um, there's quite a lot of white space, and there's like um, kind of chapter title pages like that with big quotes on, so you know, that helped shrink it down. This is really good. It's, I guess I'd sort of describe it as like summarised therapy for artists. <laughs> um, it's full of all these chapters on different topics from like money and marketing to um oh, let me find the full list like fear time other people um yeah uh there were a couple of things that i wrote down as, as a result of it 
Um, it might be one that I pick up again in future because um, there are probably some bits that will recur, but it was a really good read. Um, lots of food for thought there. Um, now I have about an hour and a half <laughs> um, to try and read some more of Playing for Time. Right. Um, I am not sure <laughs> how much of I'm going to get for it, but I am going to try, damn it. I am going to try. Hello, welcome back. I'm in my pyjamas. It's Friday the 29th. Um, I've got a little bit to update you on. <laughs> so it has been a few days. Um, so I finished playing for time um, in um, my lunch break on Monday and took it back to the library and with all the other books and I had to do my ID card. And I said goodbye to those libraries, <laughs> um, at least the physical, the physical libraries. Um, so here we have my Nurk, on which I have a whole bunch of um, ebooks. <laughs> um, so I'm part way through On Connection by Kay Tempest, which I'm really, really enjoying. Um, so my plan is to spend most of the next hour finishing that. Um, I am also also now. Um, in the early chapters of um, Book Clubbers by Emily Henry. I finished You and Me on Vacation, which I really enjoyed on um, Tuesday, I think. Um, so yeah, basically it is now 10.08am. Um, I'm late getting on with things because I had a chronic illness flare up last night, which wrecked my sleep. And um, so I'm really tired. And although I did wake up um, and decide not to keep trying to sleep, uh, just before nine, it's like taking me a while to kind of settle into things Ugh, because I feel so rubbish. Um, so yeah, here we go. It's going to be a day of taking my medication, waiting for it to work and take the pain away um, and uh, reading. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> so guess who forgot to record a outro for this video? It was me. I've really got to start editing these these vlogs um, in the month that I um, film them because then if there is anything I need to add I can do it. Instead here I am editing much a time later um, and I'm here to give you the sort of overall summary. Uh, so as you can see from the little stats on the screen right now I uh, did in fact manage to read 19 whole books which is amazing. I think that's the most I've read in one month since September um, 2020 when I had surgery and uh, basically spent an entire month lying on the sofa. <laughs> um, but absolutely none of them were books I own. None of them were books that I had encountered before this year. Uh, some of them I had, to be fair, had in the house for a couple of months, um, but none of them were mine. They were all library books of one kind or another, either from the work libraries or from the public library. So there you go. Utter fail this month. You've watched an enormous vlog, only for nothing to happen. <laughs> In regards to my TBR, at least. Anyway, uh, I wish I could promise you that I massively turned things around in the next month, but I didn't. Um, Things have got better, uh, but you will just have to wait and see and find out how that adventure goes. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and follow along with my TBR journey. Please let me know if you've read any of these books in the comments below and what you thought. You'll see me again soon. Bye!